Hey besties! Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something brand new, brand new. I'm going to be doing a full face of first impressions, which is a massive slay. I thought it'd be fun because I have a lot of makeup. Like most of it was given to me brand new by like my friends who done clear outs and everything. I haven't used any of it, so I'm really, really excited. I've got foundations to try, got primers, setting sprays, eyeshadow, lip products, blush like just like concealers everything i'm just really really excited i am kind of nervous though because i i'm not a foundation girly i haven't worn foundation in years i wear usually i would go for my trusty elf halo glow liquid filter but today we're gonna do something different so let's just get into it i've already prepped my skin like skincare wise so we're just gonna go straight in with the primer and just get my hair up in clips i am actually going out today not going out but I'm going, but it's my old granddad's birthday. So we're going to go to his house. So I'm going to do my makeup for that. Right, so first up, we've got these collection primers. I've never tried these before. The usual primer I wear is a Essence primer. So the blue one is a hydrating primer and the pink one is a dewy primer. I think we're going to go for hydrating today because the foundations are matte. So what is really the point in doing a dewy one? Oh, okay. This primer is like tinted interesting it smells um like chemicals so that's a bit concerning but it feels good it feels good on the skin that's for sure it doesn't leave like a color or anything but i don't know what foundation to go in with so i've got this milani one i've got a she glam one and a number seven part of me wants to go for this one just feels fancier. I'm so scared. I'm so scared of foundation. This is what it looks like. I hope it's a good match. I'm gonna like apply it with this Real Techniques. I'm gonna apply it with this Real Techniques brush, but then I'll probably go in up with a sponge after. I'm scared. Oh my god. I'm Trust the process. Maybe I should use a sponge. This is not working. Definitely using a sponge. Okay, already I'm less scared. Like The sponge is definitely how I should have been blending it. I'm like really not used to foundation. I'm really scared. Ah! So the Milani foundation, it's a conceal on, it's the, it's a conceal on perfect two in one foundation and concealer in the shade zero two natural medium to full coverage lightweight it is very lightweight oil free long wear water resistant slay so that's what it looks like i always just feel like foundation is like yellow but i need to trust the process okay so in my makeup routine i do liquid i do blush and contour before concealer and then i conceal afterwards make it all blend in nicely so the blush i'm gonna try there's two blushes i'm actually absolutely petrified so there's the elf putty blush and then this rose, I literally, I'm not sure this brand, but I got it as a present. It's just very bougie. I have stuck my fingers in there before, but this is what it looks like. So I want to, I think I want to do this one first and then layer it with this one. I feel like this one's going to be really, really pigmented. So we're going to chill with that one. But I'm not sure the best way to apply putty blush, but this, oh, I doesn't even see the shade. Maybe with my finger and then blend in, like dab it on with my finger a little bit. Okay, so it is blending. I was worried that it wasn't going to blend. There's probably a much better way at doing this. But, okay, I'm just literally now dabbing the sponge into the blush. And it seems to be working. It's very subtle. That's what I will say. It's a very subtle blush. But I'm not complaining. Like, I like, I, I'm, I'm a bit scared of blush still. So I prefer it to be subtle and I can like build it up. Yeah, this is cute. I like this one. I've had this one for a while and I just never used it. I also put blush on my, the bridge of my nose as well. I think it looks cute. It like puts it, puts it all together, you know? Also, let's ignore this spot here, okay? Leave her alone. Hopefully she'll be gone soon. Just please leave her alone. I am not used to being matte. I'm not used to being matte. I'm such a glowy makeup girl. Like, I feel like this isn't me. For like a bronzer slash contour, I'm gonna, t I'm gonna try and use this. The package is a bit beat up, but I haven't used it before. It's the Iconic, the Iconic London Sheer Bronze in the shade Golden Hour. I don't actually know what this is. 
I don't know what this is, so I mean it's really pretty. Let's take this. Let's just see how this goes. I could be using this so wrong. Like I thought like this is. I feel like this could just be like a tinted moisturizer sort of thing. Yeah, that's done nothing. I've definitely used this wrong. Right for contour, I'm cheating. For contour, I'm going with the Elf Halo Glow because that is not what i thought it was i think that's more of just like a base glow sort of thing i don't think you can use it as a bronzer or a contour but i'm gonna go with my contour now this one's in the shade tan deep i've just put it all over myself you know what you just can't go wrong with elf like genuinely you just can't just for a little pop of color i'm gonna go in with this i'm scared this is a lip and cheek tint so let me just see what it looks like on my on my lips. Ew, ignore my nails, please. Oh, it's very pink. She's cute, but she is very pigmented. I'm actually a bit scared. Um I I like to bring my blush like right under my eyes because the concealer goes on after, so like I'm not worried about looking weird, even though I don't think I do. Right, for concealer, so this is the one I'm going to be trying, the Ordinary High Coverage Concealer in the shade Light Medium Yellow Undertones with Gold Highlights. What? I didn't know that. So I'm going to use this as my outer corner, like under my eyes, but for my inner eye, like this is not bright enough, I just already know. So I'm going to use my usual e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade light peach that's gonna go in my very inner corners but that's the only place i'll use it because you need a bright under eye what so let me just get i don't want to use a lot because i'm a little bit scared so we'll start off with just a little bit in the outer the outer corner and also get rid of her get rid of her now and then inner corner the elf again my point still stands you can't go wrong with elf i'll start with blending the ordinary concealer it looks very dark especially next to the elf so it said high coverage did it mm. i mean i guess but she's still very much there but that might just be a me problem as i'm building this out it doesn't look as dark like it actually did do a bit of brightening you see it's actually a nice shade i feel like it matches the cons the it matches the foundation well Blending out the other side the same. With my concealer, I always blend up because it gives that illusion of like a lifted face. Just makes you look more snatched, you know. That e.l.f. concealer was definitely needed though. Like that shade alone, the ordinary shade alone wouldn't have been good enough for a bright under eye. But if that's not your thing or if you don't mind that, you know, I would recommend this concealer. It's really nice. I can't tell if I like or hate my makeup. I'm just not used to this. I'm not used to foundation. What I'm about to use is the last product that I've that I have used before. And it's the setting powder because I don't have one that I haven't used. So this is the collection Vitamin Fix Blurring Setting Powder. And I just go and set my concealer straight away. We don't want any creasing girls. No creasing. Usually I'd put like excess powder on my forehead nose chin like t-zone but i'm wearing matte stuff like there's literally no shine so weird are you a matte or a glowy girl let me know i i am definitely a glowy girl for sure but maybe by the end of this i'll appreciate the matte some more we're now gonna try out the new setting spray because i need to lay on my setting spray this is the studio london you do you setting spray lightweight dewy fix don't know how this will go with the matte but we'll see first of all what's the spray like spray test Hello. Oh, nice and fine. I hate wasting it. Right, let's spray this. Oh, that's a really, really nice spray. It doesn't have a smell. I love a fine, like, one thing about me, any spray that's fine mist, get it to me. Fine mist is the best. I hate when it's too harsh. I'm just going to fan this dry and then I'm going to go in with, what do I need to go in with? Right, for our highlight, we're going to use this little teeny tiny cute iconic London illuminator. This would be a good highlighter or if not, a good base for a highlighter. We're just going to try it. Let's go blend this out. 
I mean, it's glowy for sure. Does not blend very well. But that's that's cute. That's a nice shine. It's a nice shine. I do like that. But I think I definitely need to blend it out faster. So I'm just going to dab that on. Dab, 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 dab. And just blend. <gasps> Uh-oh. It's really pretty. It's a really pretty... It's like a liquid highlight. I really like that. I know I said no more products I already use, but I need to go over this. I need to go over the highlight. So I'm going to go over with this e.l.f. highlight in the shade. In the shade Moonlight Pearls. I just, I feel like I need to. And it's a good, it's not, it's a nice, it's a good way to like set the liquid highlighter that I just put on as well. Wow, she's shiny. Next. <gasps> Look what I've got. Fancy, fancy. We're going to try out this Charlotte Tilbury mini eyeshadow palette. So pretty. Look at that. So pretty. I'm not very good with eyeshadow. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm just going to go in with this, this top, like this light brown shade up here. Subtle little, like, colour, you know, a bit of bronze up there. Wow, this is really pretty. This is literally, I feel like this has literally elevated the look, like, ten times. With my eyeshadow, I like to wing it out a little bit. Just again, for that more like sleek look. That's a really pretty colour. I really like that. Okay, next one. I'm really excited to try this actually. I feel, I've feel i seen this on a lot of, like so many Get Ready With Me's. I see girls use this while. It's, it's, it's literally just the Essence Lash Princess Volume Mascara. First of all, packaging, so cute. This looks really good when other people use it. So let's see. Wow. It's giving length. It's giving length. Wow, this mascara gives. This mascara gives. It's so nice. I think I prefer it to my, the one I usually use. Look how pretty mum looks. Oh, mum, you look so nice. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Aww. Look at the outfit, Aww. the hair, the makeup. Look, giving. Aww. You're eating so, and, and look at me. Is everyone actually dolling up? Have you seen how pretty your wife looks? What Everyone's just getting in the video. Outfit. Say hi. What up, y'all? Yeah, no, a bit lower, yeah. Hello. <laughs> Okay, so there's two things I could try here for my lip. One is this really cute Glow Sunday Avocado Colour Lip Changing Care Balm. This is the packaging, so cute. And look how cute this looks. This is so cute. It's like the ombre green, like, it's like a mint green, little avocado at the bottom, so cute. And this is like green, literally green. You put it on and it goes pink, which is cute, but like... <gasps> It's cute, but I don't think it's a vibe for today. So instead, I'm going to be trying this Revolution Glaze Lip Oil with Cherry Seed Oil and High Hyaluronic Acid Lip Oil Cherry Scent. This I haven't even opened yet. Are you ready for ASMR? I hope. Wait, what? How the hell do I get this off? This is really pretty. I'm so excited to try this. Right, first impression. Oh, it, it looks very liquidy. Oh, I want to drink it. That smells so yummy. My God. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. This is actually a lip oil. This is really nice. You know how like the... I don't know if you guys have seen, but the NYX lip oil got like a lot of backlash because it feels just like a lip gloss. Like, it doesn't feel like a lip oil. And I will admit it doesn't. Like, I have one. I have this one. Don't get me wrong, I love it. Like, I will buy it again and again, but it's not oil. It's not oil, it's lip gloss. This is like, it's actually just oil. Like, it's just greasy, but in the best way. That's really, really pretty. That's a slay. I feel like this lighting is making me look really harsh and scary. Um, Sorry. I just feel like something's missing. I'm so sorry. Close your eyes. I'm cheating again. Ow. Right, final layer of setting spray. And then we're going to do a reveal, like, hair down. Different lighting reveal. Right. Ow. Oh, my desk is a mess. Right, let's get in different lighting. Let's get in different lighting right now. Right now. Or I can just turn this off. Uh, that's even scarier. Hold on. This is the makeup. This is how it looks. I think 
it's not me but it's not bad but i feel like it's not really me but like i like it it was fun to experiment but anyways oh boobs coming out that was my video i hope you enjoyed it's something different something different it's my full face of first impressions more or less pretend i didn't cheat i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give don't forget to leave a little, 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 little. don't forget to leave a like and comment if you did and consider subscribing because it really helped me out and i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching Bye. Bye.